Hey guys, welcome back uh, to one of my coding videos. This one's going to be pretty different to uh, the one that I've done in the past. And I know I haven't uploaded any video in the last couple of years, I guess. It's because then I work um, in a educational gaming um, company now where we make games to teach students how to make games. So what I thought, I see a lot of comments and a lot of um, uh, activity in my channel, so I decided to make a different game. I mean, different uh, another new video. This is where I have the codes done ready. Couldn't be bothered um, going through the lines of code and you like making you guys sit through the entire video. So I have the entire code uh, up on my GitHub. So this code and this one it's up on github i will be uh, posting the link um in the description so if you want to get the code you can just it's public you can have a look this here is basically called processing if you know what that is it's um it's, it's pretty similar to java it's basically built on java actually so um what i've done here i've made a simple game where you have to avoid blocks and it gets gradually harder you can it's a touch screen as well so you don't have to um be on any um device where you have keys and keyboards and if you collide with it like if, if this box collides with those your game stops and you get a score obviously you can change the positioning of this in your game yeah it's pretty simple pretty basic it teaches you how to um uh, like it teaches you some of the basic stuff like uh, variables, conditionals, loops, classes and objects, uh, methods, so all the like coding 101 would be there. So um, processing is pretty simple. It allows you to um, use commands like size, like functions, like size uh, that just gives you a window. You don't have to like in Java, like you don't have to create J frame, J panel, all those stuff. It's pretty easy. So let's go over the code. And if you want, uh, you can obviously have the code uh, from my GitHub. So what I've done here, uh, I'll talk about the variables later. Um, basically, uh, you need a setup function, and you also need a draw function if you want to do uh, something similar. Um, the setup function runs once when I click on display button, this setup function would run once. Okay, every single other frame, the frame, I don't think I have used a frame rate here, anyways. Every other frame, the draw function would, um, would be called. Okay, it's similar to the main function. Uh, the setup function is like the main, this one gets executed first. Okay. Uh, then, like any other function, any other coding language, you can create your own functions. We'll go over that. And you also have a lot of, um, what do you call them, a lot of um, functions that you, you can use to check different events. So this is the event that I use uh, to check well, if I'm dragging the mouse or not. Right, setup function. Setup function, haven't done anything um, magically in here, just created the window. Uh, of size uh, 100, 100, uh, 1280 pixels by 720 and um, I have painted the background whatever that is bg.png that's the uh, image that you're seeing here it's free on the uh, on the internet uh, you can grab it by yourself as well uh, mind you this image has to be in the same folder as as you as you're coding in right then i have uh, called a function called init baddies uh, i have called the blocks dropping down i've called them baddies for some reason anyways right uh so let's go and talk about the init baddies so baddies uh this function doesn't really return anything it's a void so if you if you're familiar with a bit of coding a bit of coding you know a function can return types especially in processing you can return types it has i mean they have return types so this one is void that means it's not going to return anything it's just going to do something for us like set something so what i'm doing here is i'm creating a set of baddies and i'm positioning them randomly using the random function that uh, processing gives 
okay now the way it's generated is random and the random function is not mine it's from the library uh, of processing right um so this baddies the array that i'm using here i have declared it over here okay and the background that i've used in the setup function is declared over here it's called p image and the variable name is image now these are some variables that i've created for my own um comfort so x player x coordinate player y coordinate player uh width player height difficulty and limit i've used these to to keep track of uh how uh, how many baddies i want to create so if you look in the setup function you can see the difficulty is 10 when we start okay so we'll have 10 baddies okay so x um sorry i should have explained this a bit uh better so the x min y x max y min y max these are the uh, values that i'm going to be using here so randomly i'm going to pick a value from x minimum to x or x maximum same goes for y minimum to y maximum okay and this is the limit of how many values i'm going to create so this is the array that i'm going to in, uh, that, I, that i initialize using this number so at the very beginning it's 10 used here okay so 10 would be the number of values i'm going to start off with okay so when i first click i have 10 values okay as the score go up i have i have put a check here so if my score is greater than limit uh so my first limit is 10 and also score is less than limit plus two it just gives me enough time to initialize another value with that, another set of values without actually during the game okay you know if you can change these values and see the difference i mean it looks kind of glitchy so i, I initialize the uh i call the function again so it reinitializes the um uh, body variable the array, the array variable i mean the arrays rather um by uh no, sorry with modified values so the difficulty would go from 10 from like from 10 to 20 same the limit would go up as well so the next time it will check if the score re uh, has read um 40 wasn't it yes i started off with 20, uh, i started off with oh 10 sorry the next time it will go up when i read uh 30 okay now this if this one over here and this else is to is basically to check if i have collided or not if i have not collided you keep doing this stuff right you move the baddies you initialize the values if the score go, uh, goes up else that means you you're dead basically in the game you paint the score and these are the coordinates you can change it right move baddies this function is used over here okay so when we haven't collided we keep calling this function move baddies is pretty simple basically um we check if so this is the array that I'm using, by the way. So this is the loop that I'm using to keep track of my, to go over, to iterate over all of my baddies. Now, what I'm doing basically here is, if my any of my baddies length gets greater than the height of the screen, I just reset it to minus 10. No biggie, right? And you may be wondering what's uh, display and random. Well, we're gonna talk about them when we go to the baddie class okay now this right here is basically the collision checking i should have put this in a different function but i didn't want to create another loop to slow down my game so i've added it here not not good practice i know but i just that so it just checks the collision for me um the co collision is pretty intense i uh, to explain so i'm going to write this down in the comments and sorry uh, yeah in the comments in github over in github github you can read that out there but basically i have uh shortened all these conditions one two three four put them in four simple uh boolean variables check the condition if like if all of them are true that means i have collided and if it's collided gets true we display the score and don't really show the uh drop the um i mean move the values anymore okay now if we, we if we um are calling the move values the score variable would go up these are basically the function that you use to display the text right 
draw player pretty simple i just this is just this is a color i don't even remember what the color is and this is the border color i mean border width that's four and border color okay and then i've just uh created a rectangle with my player f, uh, player x player y player width player height okay mass dragged really simple if um uh basically i'm checking uh, where i'm pressing if my if i'm like pressing um somewhere near the character i'm just uh, updating my players x coordinate to mass x y uh, sorry mass is x and uh players y coordinate to mass is y now the important part here is i don't want to go um above i hope i don't die uh, you know what let's just start here it's easy it's easier to explain so i don't I, I didn't want my character to go up this path like this a line and also not underneath the ground so that's what i'm checking here if my mouse mouse x um is sorry mass y is greater than or equal to 590 and mass y is less than or equal to the height minus players player height okay the height of the screen minus player height that's this point the bottom point the bottom point okay so it has to be between 590 pixels again 590 i figured that out by console like printing the value it can be different for you if you go with different uh different image but yeah if, if it's there only then the mouse y would get updated same with x if it's greater than zero and see the end and mass x is less than the uh, width of the screen you can move now i don't really remember why i added one maybe to make to make it look good but um body class is pretty simple you it's, it's similar to java you just write class you, i didn't write public class but you can write public class class body yeah i've made all the variables public i didn't want to go through get you want to use getter setters because uh, to be honest i never i haven't used processing in some time so uh, i wasn't sure how um a lot of a lot of the um functions would work and like a lot of um how the modifiers would access modifiers would work so i just kept them simple okay drop just makes the baddies drop like the y coordinate would get in, uh would uh, would have some speed sorry the y coordinate would be updated okay um according to the speed so that's the draw function and this is display function okay so you can have a body if you don't call the display function none of them gets drawn so that's why you need um where is that yeah, that's why you need to display the body and you need to drop the body okay and the speed is completely random again from 1 to 15 uh that's it that's yeah that's about it actually uh we'll be uh uploading this i think it's there already on github so uh the link would be in the description and sorry for not uploading any videos uh don't have enough time anymore and for those of you who put harsh comments on my previous videos that was a year 10 or year 11 boy making those videos with java okay i had no prior experience and no i mean no prior video making experience and also no professional experience but still sorry about not being professional on the uh on the uh previous videos but can't really help it well bye take care